I'm sorry. I genuinely panicked. Hanya said her brother's a doctor, but by the time I got her up, we were... Will you Open help her? Open the door! <sighs> Don't just stand there. Say something. Will she be all right? Get in the car! Ветер птиц на небе выткал Золотой осенней ниткой Я послал тебе открытку В ней два слова, не грусти Но ползла она улиткой И плыла по морю рыбкой Не спеша, не слишком прытка Я и сам уже в пути Здравствуй, счастье В белом платьице простом Здравствуй, счастье Я прошу лишь об одном Здравствуй, счастье ты прости меня, прости, здравствуй, счастье, больше не грусти. Delicate Matters, Episode 3 Good morning. What time is it? Not visiting hours for sure. You should leave before the doctor comes. Go on. <sighs> Excuse me, how is she? Was that? No, you misunderstood me. She's fine. You see, these are extremely tight on the temples. Nothing life-threatening. Thank you so much, really. It's just that I, I don't even know how to thank you. So you want to thank me? Then you better go home and rest because no one will let you see her right now. But maybe I need I to... said go home. You already saved her life. Not me, you. Get up. I know that you're not sleeping. Sorry, I guess I was talking quite loudly, huh? I didn't hear anything. You heard everything. It turns out he didn't even go anywhere. He's at home, eating. Get some sleep, because you won't get any after you're married. You gotta feed him and dress him up. Wipe his tears, take him to school. Maybe I don't need a husband. I'll just stay single my whole life. Don't say such things to me. You want my two cents worth? You and Vladimir should see the movie, uh, It's Love? What if it's love? Oh, what if it's love? That's right. It's very popular. Miss Marina hates it. That means it's probably great. What's this thing here? What Nothing. is it? Nothing. It's just a mosquito bite. Mom, Vladimir and I broke up. And that's why I don't want to discuss anything about love nor Vladimir. You will make up soon, my dear. Trust me. I spoke to Evgeny about it. I don't recall you ever loving me like that. I'll kill you. Uh huh. With all due respect, I didn't fight for you for that long. Please, come on. 
The world is now... Our oyster! Not the whole world. But we're visiting the south for sure. With the newlyweds. Uh-huh. But while you were out planning the holidays, your son-in-law almost left without you. How? Pay attention. He came last night to say goodbye. She was crying the whole night and couldn't even sleep. But he didn't leave. He didn't leave, not yet. Listen, do you know what I think? Maybe we should give him a present already, before the wedding day. That's a good idea. A car, maybe? What, you'll give him our car? No, not our car. If I become a minister, I'll get a new car immediately. Maybe even two. The question is when. Because if you don't become one, then there will be no cars and no giveaways. Anyway, talk to Vladimir, man to man. I don't like these attempts to escape marital life. 54051. Mm-hmm. 54151. Mm-hmm. You started already? Relax, they're still not here. Oh. How's Natalia? Anya's brother was great. He saved her. Yes, he is. He didn't sleep the day before. And today he did it again. 7864. Mm-hmm. And that one? Do you know about Gleb? <laughs> No, he's not around. Most likely he's hiding somewhere. I don't even want to think about that pathetic artist. Which artist is that? Oh, hello, Mr. Gladkov. That isn't professional attire. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. What's wrong with Natalia? She had surgery, but she's fine now. Oh, Miss Nina, cover for me at the meeting at four. I have a very important event at the Ministry. Sure, Mr. Gladkov. Well, hello there, my dearest female comrades. Good day, Doctor. Got a younger one? Right. You're all the same. Are you okay? Do you remember how you ended up here? Glasses suit you and your sister. Well, I guess you are. Don't worry, everything will be just fine. What about the baby? What baby? My baby. Did I lose my baby? You didn't lose anything at all. There was no baby. Wait a second. But for two months, I haven't had a... Delays like that have many causes. Too much walking, too much work, always standing on your feet, not eating enough. You need to rest, so do that. I'll be back soon. Oh yeah, one more thing. If this happens again, and I really hope it doesn't, you have to protect your stomach. Pull your knees up. Because this time, it was your spleen that was in danger of exploding. Because the Treaty of Friendship, Cooperation, and Mutual Assistance has been implemented since the 14th of May in the year 1955. Any questions on the lecture? None? All right then, students. You are all free to go now. Thank you. I have a question. Is it true that Soviet rockets are located in Cuba and are always ready to repel attacks from aggressors? Uh... There is no official data on that. You know, I understand Americans to a certain extent. They were close with Cuba. And even if they parted ways forever, they had to, you know, let their emotions settle down. So why did they ship rockets and suck up to them so soon? You know, 
I think that Cuba needed support. And if they had severed ties with America, they needed another country to help them. Yeah, right. Just in case. Yeah. And even if America doesn't like it, it shouldn't be the one who'll decide what's right. Every country gets to decide what's right for them. Especially Cuba. Okay, young man. I will just pretend that I didn't hear those, um, um, anti-Soviet questions. Goodbye. See you in our next class. My gosh, Vladimir. You're lucky the party rep wasn't present. Okay, that's enough. I don't know what the deal is with Cuba, but I veto this whole geopolitical thing. It's my right. It's my day today. So let's all meet at the party later. And no rockets, please. That's much better. I'm back to looking human again. Hello, yes? Uh, one second. It's the General. This is Katya. Yes, good day to you, sir. Yes, from the crack of dawn. Today, unfortunately, I can't. I'm at the conservatory. Tomorrow? I don't know. Call me at six, maybe? Only if you have time, of course. I'm very happy to hear from you, too, sir. <laughs> conservatory? <sighs> what for? Are you crazy? I'm not going there. Take note. A man has to feel like he's competing for your time. So remember, before answering a call you've been waiting for, You've to count up to five. I wasn't waiting. I just thought that this one person would call. Uh, why is Miss Nina taking so long? Katukova is on her way. What should we do? <sighs> It'll be fine. You'll see. That Katukova of yours is an old horse already. She's out of fashion. <sighs> oh, hello, Miss Katukova. Giddy up, horsey. What are you doing here? There, let me in. Do you like it? The theater. The theater? Are you going to tempt the kids there? Is it tempting? Well, no, not really. Vladimir. You're no longer a child. You've had too much champagne. It happens. I still love you a lot. Uh, uh, what's that? Where? Uh, there, right on your chest. Wait a minute. You feel hot. And I don't mean the way you behave. Let me take you home, all right? Good day. Hello. So how are you feeling? Better now. I'll be back pretty soon. It's just that... The baby... No, there wasn't one. Right? What's with that look? Listen, I decided to talk to the doctor first. To find out what to expect, and to ask if 
the child can be saved. <laughs> How silly of me. It's for the best. For the best? Internal bleeding is for the best? What about the beatings? All right, name me one positive thing about being with that creature. He's just an animal. It's my life. And I will fix it myself. And Gleb isn't at fault. Gleb, huh? That means it was him. Get better, Natalia. And take your time. And don't worry about work now. Here's some advice when talking about clients. Face the door next time. Trust me on this. Forgive her. She really meant no offense. Are you kidding? She can't offend me even if she tried. You know that during the war, I did a front lines with an orchestra. The things I was called back then, like a traveling battalion wife, even a call girl, and those were still tame, would you believe? <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> you gossip mongers don't know what unhappiness is. You're right. We don't know. But I'm certain that dark thoughts depend on the color that you wear as well. If we take, let's say, crimson. Huh? Or... this shade of green? Oh no, not green. It reminds me of those hideous military uniforms, um, you know. An ocean wave. A lot depends on the shape as well. But on you. No. You youngsters really do fall for any new trend. And I think... It's a lie, a facade. It doesn't matter how you dress a burnt tree, it will never be a Christmas tree. So just do your job quietly. You know what? It looks so much better now. Green really matches your eyes. Are you kidding? What if I'm dying? Why are you spewing nonsense? Everyone gets sick. I hope it's not chicken pox. Do you want to go to Kira's birthday? Dress up all pretty and stuff? Go out, clear your head? Now you're mocking me. Is it because of what I said about Anton? But I apologized. Forget it. I also feel bad. I mean, really. I made you worry, said I'm leaving, and then didn't. Listen to me. You get better first, then we'll talk about it. Deal? Deal. Okay, come in. Come in. Please. Stand here. Wait a minute. What are they doing here? Mr. Gladkov, what a catastrophe! Would you just look at them? Look at the state of their hair. Did they use it to sweep the floor? Or was it the crime of the century? Were all the brushes stolen? <clears throat> and you? Can you hunch your back even more? You know how clients simply love hunchbacks. So that the fabric creases right here. That's awesome. Good job. Oh, goodness, no. Comrade Gladkov, we need Natalia here at once. Or else the upcoming show is going to be a complete failure. It's impossible without her. You. Yes, you. Turn around. Stop. Lift your skirt a bit. There's Natalia for you. They're identical. Any questions? Natalia is no longer working with us. And that's also why she's not participating. So go now and work without her. And whoever can't or won't are free to follow Natalia's lead. Okay, that's it for now. Get out. Follow me. 
Please leave. Let's go now. Our Vladimir is plain and simple. But he's not ours. He's not even mine right now. Stop being silly. Look, he brought you here and put ointment on you. He cares about you. So, why did he leave? To drink with Kira, alone. <sighs> why did you sigh? I told him he should go. Where can I go looking like this? And he doesn't care about me. He's a self-centered idiot and a liar. How can you say that about your future husband? It's true. It's true. So, Dad, we'll need to find another way to become a minister. What do you mean by that? What do I mean? He explained to me why he wanted us to get married. It will help Dad get into the ministry. They're all lies. Vladimir is a liar. Yeah. That's weird. I just said that a while ago. Is Katakova here? Tatiana's been with her for 30 minutes. I'm too afraid to go in there. Put on your suit. <laughs> Tatiana, what are you doing in here? <laughs> oh, Nina, this girl you have here is a fighter. Very naughty. I mean, you should have been an actress. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm not good at that. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> but look here. <laughs> Paris, Milan, San Francisco, huh? Well done. I figured that no saddle would fit the taste of that old horse. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Don't be shy, Tatiana. Come over here. Are you going to scold her? Don't you dare, because I am getting everything that she recommended. How I wish I could do that. For a job well done, a bonus. And for not using the items I carefully suggested, a warning. This one? The General sent a car for you. To bring you to the conservatory and then to his house. Mm -hmm. Watch and learn. Tell your General that I won't be with him today, but with Tchaikovsky. Let's go, Tatiana. <laughs> Should I break his heart, then? I can do that, I don't mind. That was harsh, huh? It's okay. Hold on. Uh, damn it, I left my keys at work. Uh, then let's go back. Why would you go? To go past the security again? I'll get them myself. Go uh, ahead. You might miss your tram. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll see you. See you. Changed your mind? Shall we? Uh-huh. Tatiana, come over here. Hello. Ah, oh, what a lovely dress. Thanks a lot. So what's up with our working girl, huh? Well... It's all good. It's about time. Well, what about you? Are you going to move out? All your permits are outdated. The school dormitories are close to the police. But why did you mention the police? Did I steal something? Smash windows? Please give me one more week. I'll be invisible. You won't even notice me. Actually, I get paid to specifically notice things. Not noticing things? Doesn't get me paid a cent. No, I really don't mind. You can stay a week or even a year. 
So what should I do? Here's your clue. Service for service, an eye for an eye. Look, I have a speck in my eye here. And you need a place to live. Let me check the speck in your Come eye. Come on, you simply can't be that naive. You weren't born yesterday. Natalia said you're a big girl. You work, you'll pay, so pay up. Oh, you mean money. Yes, obviously, she finally gets it. I'm so tired of this discussion. So why are you here anyway? I need to pick up some stuff for Natalia. And well, Ryza wanted to... Well, I wanted Ryza to pop in. All right, you can go ahead. Thank you. I'm going to give you until evening. <laughs> Ladies, you're really pale. I'm just fine. Just fine. Just fine is when you're sitting at home watching TV and your man is so tired that he has no energy at all to even do anything stupid. You told her? I told her. Rise up. I, I just... Well, I'm so sorry. I feel like you can always move back in with me. With us. I'm not a stranger, you know? I won't let you get hurt. I look after you. I know how you do that. You keep a close watch and everyone knows where I was. As if you try to hide it. Besides, you're totally an open book. What are you, Raisa? The government? Did you come to interrogate me? I actually came to apologize. But did you? Girls, don't fight. Natalia, thank you for all of your help back then. And just know that if you ever need my help, I'm here for you. And Ryza too. Yes. I'm sorry. Thank you. I don't need help. You can take your groceries with you. They're not allowed. You mean not even one? You can leave the jam. Natalia, I just wanted to ask, did you promise to give Zena money for me to stay? I need to know how much. Just five. That's it? Per week. <sighs> Listen, can you please not bring her with you again? Don't try to fix this, all right? You should call Gleb instead. Ask him to come here. It's important that I talk to him. Gleb? Are you crazy? Tatiana, He's... I'm asking you, because you are my friend. Will you do it? Natalia, you're pretty, smart, and nice. You're worth a lot more. No man is worth that much. Tatiana, it's my life. Will you do it? Give me his number. Young man, I'm here for my girl. Where are you going? Young man, you were informed. No, she knows I'm coming. It's restricted. What? Not for me. Just I said yeah, it's no, I'm walking. Hey, wait. Stop Let there. Let me go. I told what are you, you doing? You can't go in there. I need to Stop see it. her. What are you doing? I told you you can't listen pass, to me. but you won't listen. You don't understand. Check out. I need to see her. I should leave. Come on. Go. Get out of here. How is she? Very bad. She barely survived. Uh-huh. Some asshole beat her up, hit her in the stomach and kicked her. You know how that feels? Well, let me show you then. He hit her like that! Hey! There. Like that! Calm down! Like this, huh? Shh. Come on, let's go. Pity about the jam. I would have smashed it over his head. Oh! Was it the wrong size? I'll check the warehouse. Maybe we can exchange it. 
Vladimir, I'm tired. Me too. Of pretending? Of your jokes. Take your inappropriate gift back and we're done. Well, I have a better suggestion. Let's go to Kira's birthday party. Check the guys out, meet them. You'll realize that I'm actually normal by comparison. Whoa, hold it. You know what's there? They have a jazz orchestra. Have you ever heard live jazz? It's so much better than vinyl. The music will simply blow you away. Oh! Hello! Hi. This isn't Lydia. Well, aren't you perceptive? This is my friend Tatiana. Please welcome her warmly. With open arms, please! <laughs> I'm Tatiana. Uh, which one is Kira? Uh, well, you just met her. I'm Kira. I'm very sorry. Happy birthday. Yeah, thanks. Um, so, happy birthday. Oh, how fancy. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Have a seat. Wait, who's Lydia? <laughs> oh, no idea. Just oh, ignore her. She's here. the craziest of the bunch. Let's go for a smoke. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll be a minute. Behave yourself. Of course, of course. <laughs> Are you studying IR too? I've never seen you before. No, I'm I'm a seamstress and also in sales. Oh, how unusual. Maybe you're not even from Moscow. Is that important? Oh no. <laughs> Nowadays it's not important. You better try the appetizers we have. Um... <laughs> Why don't you grab a spoon, too? Leave her alone. Maybe it's in their culture to eat with a salad fork. Kira, stop. What? <sighs> what? You didn't come out to smoke, did you? You wanted to talk and talk. Aren't you Sherlock Holmes? Spit it out. Before I start smoking out of boredom. You'll ruin my baritone, man. You'll ruin yourself. So is that girl. Your girl is sick at home, and you? Perhaps I should have waited for her to die first, right? Chicken pox doesn't guarantee death. Come on, buddy. You don't want to embarrass yourself. I smacked you around enough in the ring. You think I don't know that you're in love with Lydia? And you kissed her? <laughs> and why do you want to hit me, huh? I'm not planning to hit you. I want to talk man to man. Woman to woman would be tough. I agree, man. Give her to me. Is she an inanimate object to be given away? I really would. Except you can't take her. She said it herself. I don't know what came over me. Some kind of weakness. Liar. Hey, pick it up! This is a decent joint. Oh, here he comes. You left the girl to be devoured. Oh? By whom? By us. Right, I'd rather leave. Thanks, it was really pleasant. Very, very interesting. Wait, what about the jazz? Vladimir, does this polite young lady know about your wedding? You most likely told her about Paris. About how you'll suffocate since you're surrounded by snobs if she doesn't join you. So what do you say, Tatiana? I'd say that you taught me a valuable lesson. For the appetizers. Happy birthday again. Why are you hanging out with that peasant girl? Tatiana! So I'm sitting in my office drinking tea and suddenly she barges in and says, What's with all oh, these drinks at work? What drinks? This is tea. 
Tea? Yes. Come on. Huh? It wasn't funny back then. What is it? <laughs> Who's that? Is he a friend? Excuse me, ma'am. Your ticket. I forgot my bag. Do you want some snacks? I'm sorry, we don't accept those here. Let me pay for her. Hmm? Here, take it. Thank you so much. I promise I'll pay you back. No, there's no need. Today's an amazing day. My article was published. To celebrate that, I'd like to offer a pretty girl a tram ride. You work for the paper? Do you want one? Oh, thanks. No, not the paper. Building the Metro. An article was published about me and my team. See, look at it. There, that's me. Although you can't see it too well here. Do you want to read it? Uh, let's see, um... <laughs> Why don't I do it? It's only through hard work and care for others, through tireless attempts to reach new heights, does a person grow. Our generation has the honor of not only protecting what our fathers had paid for with blood, but of building a new and better world for everyone. Your thoughts? Well, I think it's a bit extreme. Yeah? Everyone liked it. Take it home and read the whole thing, and maybe you'll like it. Oh, by the way, for our war hero, a phone was installed at our house. Was that today? No, why do you think that? Oh, it's an amazing day, remember? <laughs> the article is more than enough. And you. Um, take this, uh, I'll be expecting your call. Oh, in case I ever need to dig a metro tunnel to my home. <laughs> oh, this is my stop. Anyway, oh, you can have this. Not just a metro, I'm actually quite handy. I can fix any machine. Uh, My name is Anatoly. I'm Tatiana. Goodbye. See you. <laughs> Dad's here? No, he said he'll be late, maybe even in the morning. How does he even manage to do that, especially at his age? So it's up. Death, divorce, or prison, maybe? <laughs> That's stretching it. Solitaire is mathematics. It keeps me sharp at my age. Mom? Mm-hmm. I don't want to get married. My dearest Vladimir, you know very well that it's not that simple. I know. And you know that such a decision will have major consequences. I know. Mom, it's just that the scariest consequence for me is dancing to someone else's tune. It's already happening before the wedding. I want freedom. To sail the seas. Not to live my life on a timetable. And do you think that free people don't live by a timetable? Do you know what, my boy? At the age of 23, it's a little late to be this naive. Let me explain. Those people living freely stand in line with food stamp for sausages, which are handed out on schedule. And you, the freedomless, can get that sausage anytime. <laughs> Mom, I said see? And then you bring up sausages. You should know even those free people go to the restroom on schedule. The only thing that's not on schedule is when they get booze. Since they don't earn on schedule, they also don't get to drink on schedule. So answer me, what does that tell you? The scariest thing is that your very own freedom 
can be taken away at any second without schedule. You know what? This is interesting. <laughs> A route that's farther. <coughs> Good evening, you two. Hello. Why do you look so tense? Had a tough day? Yeah. Just a little. Then maybe we can have tea together. A very good plan. <laughs> right, Vladimir? Quite an amazing plan. But count me out. Anyway, don't worry. It's psychosomatic. What do you mean? Nerves. It's not chicken pox. And when I say don't worry, I mean it in every possible way. You really eased our mind, Doctor. Would you like some tea? Or maybe something that's a bit strong? I would love to, but I have two more house visits. Have a good and calm, and by that I mean the calmest night. Come on, I'll walk you out. Where are you going at this time? I can still make it to the party. That Anthony of yours is skulking behind the door. He refuses to come in and insists that you go out. What is she, a dog? What's with the demands? Please let them talk inside. You better be back in five minutes. Is the party over? I was on my way. Then why are you still here? Ah, uh, emeralds really suit you. <laughs> what do you want, Anton? By the way, my dad still can't remember your name. <laughs> Today you're Anthony. Will you keep on visiting me until the wedding? If Vladimir keeps behaving like this after the wedding, it'll be my duty to interfere. What did he do this time? He came without you. Oh, um, that wasn't exactly a secret. I knew about that. So you also knew about Tatiana? Tatiana? The sales girl. Tatiana Nazarov. Well, she's cute, but... not when compared to you. <laughs> a sales girl. Can you make up something better? What? Are you that jealous? Does he annoy you that much? It's time to accept that he's better than you. Don't make things up to badmouth him. A sales girl. Please don't be foolish. Anyway, good night, <laughs> my dear. Sleep well. Good night to you too, ma'am. Lydia, are you okay? I need to call someone. Bring me the red phone from the living room. And turn on the TV so you can't eavesdrop. Lydia, no, I'm not late. Go on, tell me. Who is she?
Why is the bed empty? Where's my stuff? Zena came here and said hello. She said she warned you so you're aware. Go beg her for your place. There's no chance. Maybe tomorrow. And I thought you were with a guy. You've been really happy lately. And I was. I have a recommendation for the summer semester. I'll continue studying. But you're just lying there. I'm reviewing materials. Any problem? Who's there? Nazarov. Oh, thank goodness. Wait. So how did you get in? I locked everything up. It doesn't matter. I want to be honest with you. I have no money. And I don't know when I will. I had some today, but it's gone. If you want to throw me out, better do it now. I just grab my stuff and leave. That's at all. Do you think I'll kick you out at night? What am I, some kind of monster? Where did you say you're working again? A boutique. A posh and fashionable one for generals and stuff. Mm-hmm. And that is where you will make me a dress. A dress which will cause all the cars to stop and blow their horns on the high street. I can't do that. Only a dress that'll make the fountain in the square overflow and drown everyone with its beauty. Ooh, and you say you can't lie. <laughs> You'll learn soon enough. Moscow changes people. Did something happen? Don't mind me, I'm fine. Lydia, if he dare hurts you again, tell me. I'll deal with him and I'll do it immediately. No one has the right to hurt my little girl. But what if... You're powerless to punish the certain someone, Dad. You can't punish him for me. There's no such person. So tell me who that jerk is, and he will regret it. I can promise you that. Even sort of? Lydia, you don't quite understand what you're saying. My relationship with Zotov is purely ours. It doesn't concern you you're at all. You're scared of him. Right. So here's another name. Nazarova. 